everybody, it's Sissy. I've got my recipe today for my chicken pot pie egg cups. It's real simple, looks like a lot of ingredients, but it's, it's really not. And it cooks up in only 25 minutes. And you can keep them in the refrigerator or you can freeze them also. Um, I usually um, make six muffins or eight, depending on how large my eggs are. I'm using large eggs today. So um, let's get started. Start with six large eggs and we're going to mix those up. You just want to break the yolks. Don't have to be real beaten up. Okay. That looks that looks good enough. Okay. Then we're gonna add um, a half a fourth of a cup of heavy cream, a fourth of a cup of chicken broth. One and a half tablespoons of melted butter. Um, I use salted butter. Um, you can use unsalted. Uh, um, I like Kerrygold, but you can just use regular butter. I wouldn't use margarine. Margarine's not good for low carb. Um, it's just synthetics, and nothing tastes as good as good old real butter. So, got that mixed up. Then we're going to add, I got some salt and pepper and a little bit of onion powder in here. Um, the, the recipe that I got this from used chopped onions. Um, I, I'm not a real big fan of onions. That, uh, to me it's just wasted carb. So I, and onions do have carbs, so I don't really use them that much because there's no point in buying the onion and letting it go to waste. Okay, got that mixed up. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of carrots and peas. Now, now carrots and peas do have carbs in them. A fourth of a cup of um, carrots has two and a half carbs, and a fourth of a cup of peas has six carbs. But we're going to stretch this out over six to eight muffins, so it doesn't really add up to enough to do without them. And they, they do add a good flavor, so I, I do put those in there. Um, sometimes I do put more carrots, too, since um, they don't really have that many carbs. Mix that up. And then for a little flavor, we're going to add um, two teaspoons of Dijon, Dijon mustard or whatever your favorite mustard is. This is just basic yellow French's mustard. And that does give it a nice tangy flavor. Um, these kind of remind me of those old banquet pot pies. Um, we, we used to eat them a lot growing up as kids, and I kind of I miss it. But um, when you put the cheese, I'm going to add um, a half a cup of shredded cheese. I used Colby Jack. The, um, the recipe called for sharp cheddar. I'm not a real big fan of sharp cheddar, so I just use Colby Jack. And you can use any kind of cheese you like. And put that in. Get all that good cheese goodness in there. Okay, give that a little mix. And then I have um, one cup of shredded rotisserie chicken. Add that. You could add more or less depending on your taste. Um, to me, the, it, one cup is, is just enough. It gives it a good meaty texture and it fills you up. Get my peas and chicken out of my whisk. Then I have a well-greased muffin pan, and then I'm it's well greased. Oh, let me get my okay. Uh, you could, if you have a mixing bowl like this, you could pour it in, but I don't do that because it makes a mess. I just like to um. Get a good old measuring cup and just kind of ladle it out. I fill them almost to the top. Okay, I'm going to finish filling these. Put it in a 350 degree oven and bake it for 25 minutes. Then we'll come back and see what we got when it's done. All right. Our egg cups baked for 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven. They puffed up a little bit and they're nice and done. And 
If you grease your pan really well, they'll come right out of the tin. This, um, the batch I made, my eggs were large eggs, so I actually got nine uh, muffins out of it. Um, usually I get eight, but um, it kind of must have put a little extra chicken or something, so it got stretched out further. But um, if you add up all the carbs, these probably have less than two carbs a muffin. So I could have two of these for supper with a little salad or um, a little side dish, and you can't beat it. So I'm gonna cut one and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, look, there's that chicken and cheese. Ooh, mm. this tastes, I know you can't taste it, but I can. Mm. It's really good. And it does, it's not really eggy tasting. I'm, I like eggs, but I don't want to eat eggs every meal, but the, the eggs are, taste is kind of hidden in there, but they're really good, so. If you get, um, they're great for breakfast, they're great for supper, they reheat in the it's microwave. It's all around a good little thing. And you can make it in the mini muffin pans and it'll make a great little hors d'oeuvre canapé. It's really good. Very versatile recipe. Well, I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try too. Everybody have a great day. Thanks.